speaking with the attorney since second chair on the case, mm -hmm. and he seems cocky confident that we won't see trial. <laughs> and we won't when they settle. What did you find when you interviewed the witness? White girl out with a black boyfriend, sitting across from everything, recorded the entire conversation. Okay, so she just so happened to be recording in that direction. Well, so she, I was, she actually was Snapchat. The shit was on Snapchat? Well, that's where it started. The young woman's name is Jessie, and she was trying to get her boyfriend's response to a vacation proposal. A vacation proposal? It's just some way that women make their men go on vacation, that's all. Enlighten me. Let me know. Talk to me. <clears throat> she paid for everything, by me. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. Homie did good. Oh, real good. Man. Tickets to Dubai. Oh, damn! Oh man, I only gotta dodge dinner dates. <laughs> <laughs> only the ones that she's paying, Ragsdale. That's it. Okay, right on. Right. So what else she got? She was recording and, and then what happened? Well, she was recording and she really didn't know what was going on until the commotion started, but she got it. She got everything. Huh? Yeah. But I thought video messages and, 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 and all that stuff only lasted 24 hours or something. No, nah, not anymore, man. New update. Damn. Yep. All right, so what else we got, man? I feel like I'm picking teeth here. What's up? <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, this is this is the footage we got, man. Huh? Tell me what you see. Oxtail sounds good. My love. What? What is this? Just to open it. Look, this better not be one of your pranks. You're gonna like it. Wait, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> oh my god. Dubai. That do say Dubai. <laughs> you, you got us a trip to Dubai? Happy 5th anniversary, baby. No, I want my area. So you can tell them to sit somewhere else. You know, I make good money in here, so you can keep my area open for me. So when I get here, I can relax. You know, say no more, okay? Take a menu and I'll go ahead. Something, huh? Man, you know, let me say it again. I think I, I think I know him. I, yeah, isn't that Greg Lofton, the writer of a uh, uh, Conscious Magazine? Yeah, isn't that him? That's him. Man, let me make sure I earn my best shirt. We about to Perry Mason these motherfuckers. Right? <laughs> please yeah. do, please do. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, I didn't mean to ask you about that. I'm not trying to get in your business or anything, but I've been worried about you the last few times you go to court. You all right? Good. Come on, man. You know how it is. Being a single man, <laughs> multiple women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do know how it is. But man, that shit's too much work for me. But at least my women would like to wash and iron my clothes. It ain't never too much work, player. And all that washing and ironing clothes, all that means is that I'm spending too much time. <laughs> but I understand you uh rocking with a fine one over there, ain't you? 
She is fine. But what you mean? What the hell you mean? Man, they all been fine. What you mean? <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, Angela, how, how are you, you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Bobby. I mean, Mr. Ragsdale. Plan. Bobby, I left those files up on your computer that are pending payment. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be kept abreast since I'll be assisting you so I can know when I can expect my money because a sister has a pricey card now. I like her ambition. She's becoming a thorn in my ass. Excuse me? Play <laughs> nice children. Miss Angela, I will make sure you are updated mm -hmm. before I leave the office today, okay? And will that be before or after I leave? Say B, uh, I'm gonna go check out these cases and get and get started on a discovery and shit. I, these white boys are just a little too cocky for my life. <laughs> my too, brother. Handle that, okay? Yeah. The cases, Ragsdale, the cases. What they up to? Oh, nothing. Bobby chasing down Angela. What? Mm-hmm. Hell no. Now Angela is too smart for that man. Oh, shit. You sound confident about that. <laughs> Look, brother, it's not like that, alright? Nah. I ain't talking about marriage or nothing, but uh, me and baby good. Wait, what? What did you just? What you say? I said I ain't talking about marriage, but me and baby, we struck. My man, <laughs> look, what's for once, man? That shoot, man. It's up, it's up to you. Look at you. Appetite already increased. Shut up, man. <laughs> Fuck you, all right? I ain't got shit to do with shit. I was late because I missed breakfast, man. I'm hangry right now. All right, fuck it, man. Let's go. I'm wrong with you. <laughs> shit, you're always talking shit, man. Charles. Hey, you the one that got a baby. Got a baby now. Sebastian, boy. transitioning and we haven't had any good conversations in a long time so there there look just say what it is just say don't do that is. I mean I really just want your genuine attention and your opinion okay 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 what, what? So I think it'd be better if I told you in person any Derek shit now My man could have been here. Oh, I, I need to see that nigga anyway. Is that what you came here for? No, but you brought it up. What the hell do you want? This ain't like any tools. You need a blunt or a drink? Drink. White or red?
my house. Fuck it. I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I was not ready. All right, so what led to this? Every relationship has its problems. And ours wasn't no different than anybody else's, you know? No, I don't. I ain't never been married. I don't know married for a problem. You spend your whole life learning the same person. And some people just have that natural chemistry. Some people don't. And she and I don't. You cheating? Because it's obvious she is. <clears throat> not exactly. What the fuck is not exactly? All right, listen. I let my traveling assistant get me head on a road trip one time. Now look, she knew from the jump that I wasn't trying to have sex and not because I didn't want to, but because it felt like Leslie was always having me watched or something. So anyway, she swore she was cool with it. And then she started trying to go out on dates and stuff like two weeks later, so I just cut it right off. You know, eventually uh, stuff started getting weird at work. So I called HR and we had a meeting, and they transferred her ass. She got in her feelings, and eventually she sent an a email to Leslie. You pathetic. Whatever, man. That shit happened like three years ago. And what the hell does that mean? Have I not taught you anything? You can say hello to the Me Too movement. You know me, Pete. I ain't chasing nothing, and I ain't raping nothing. Anyways, I just wanted to let you in on that just in case I disappear for a while. Cause, oh boy, think about filing the case. He wanna file a case against you for fucking your wife and your ass? Oh, that's real cute. <laughs> real, real cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, what you gonna do? Where you going? You just take some extended time off. I was thinking maybe Princess can come with me, being that she hadn't solidified a job yet. Yeah, well, good luck with that, because she's been over there at a girlfriend's house. Hmm. That still sound weird to me. Yeah, well. She's still my poo. Still my princess. Mm -hmm. So what you about to do? Oh hell no, you're not to start WYD and me, sir. Uh, mm. Well, I might want that old thing back. Trust me, you don't. You know what, you might be right. I can mess with that mud of a boyfriend you got. I might have to have your ass quarantined. You know what, mm. get, get, motherfucker, give me my glass. Good day, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Look, there's something else I need to tell you. Uh-uh, save it for confession, son. And my head can't no, hold no more. Stop, what? stop it. Listen, what? listen. Despite everything that went on between us, I never told you that you were a great mother to my daughter. And I love you for that. That means a lot. Thank you. I pick up the phone when I call you, little nigga. Hell no. Come on. Go. <laughs> call you. Don't call me. Shit. <clears throat> and don't be rearranging my furniture. Hell. Come on out of here. Come over here with all this shit. Good Stop fighting me. I'm, I'm not fighting you. I don't want my hair messed up. I have court in the morning. You weren't saying that shit last night. I also had them. I'm on it too. You know what? About that damn bonnet. Listen, man, my dick can't get hard with that shit on. Scarf or bonnet? Take your pick. Scarf. Oh. Bobby. Rex, are you still in there? Ragsdale, are you still in there? You know what? Let me call this ass. Yes, Miss Wallace. Hey. I'm I'm pulling some files for a client. Well, you should have said something. All right, just call me when you're done, okay? Okay. Hey, um, Bobby, make sure you have that dick hard and ready because you know it's been a long ass day. All right? I will.
Oh, this is my client. What? Something must be wrong. Hey. Attorney Angel. Yes, Miss Wallace. You know what? I don't know who you think you're playing with, but you're gonna mess around past a little girl to be in the world of pain. Listen, I ain't got time for this shit. I said I was getting something for a client. Now I'll call you later. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're gonna have to continue this later. What? My witness just pulled out. I gotta go figure something out. I understand. You need one of my boys to go with you or you got this by phone? Phone for now. But if I need you, I'll put up a secret Batman. All You got life and bullshit confused. If you think for one second this shit is happening. I almost reached under my seat on your ass. Really? Funny thing is that you would have to get ready. Motherfucker, I stay ready. You know what you need to get out of your head. It ain't nobody scared of your little pistol. Don't antagonize me, Bobby. You know what? I want to hear this shit about Angela. She just so happened to be the only one left in the office. And besides, she cool people. How well do I know you're cool? Huh? I don't know how well you know my cool. You know, you know something. I'm very good. Nigga, don't gas me up. I may not be able to prove that you and Angela are in the office. Oh, but let me find out. Oh, girl, it's your crazy ass. So where we going? My place or yours? Neither. You hungry? Yeah, I'm serious. I don't like that shit. 
Okay, you don't like him, and rightfully so, but that's Princess's dad. I can't change that. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower. Can I come with you? You can do what you want to do. It's your house. Vincent, this is not how I wanted to end my night. Then tell your baby daddy to stay out of our space. Shit, Troy. All right, man. I get it. I mean, I don't want to know that my girl's ex is popping up at her place either. Shit, me and that nigga got some misunderstandings, and I am not seeking clarification. <laughs> right on, right on. Shit, they precious want to sit around and talk about it like it's some new show on Netflix or some shit. Look, I mean, her daughter is grown, so why was he so eager to pop up over there in the first place? I don't know. So you didn't even at least find out? I didn't care. I really didn't want to know that nigga had been there. Wait, 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 wait. So you telling me that you all right with not knowing? Matter of fact, you all right with not knowing and then finding out later on in life? I'm already seeing where you're going with this. Well, enlighten me. You're going to say that I jumped the gun and I should have listened. Well, at least we would know if there was some potential fucking going See, on. See, and that's the shit I'm talking about. See, I never should have said anything. <laughs> what? Well, look, that's that's all I'm going to be thinking about. Man, now, and that's your fault. That is your fault. You rather sit alone in your little hot shower with your damn assumptions. Fuck you, Troy Sebastian. <laughs> you know, you have really been saying that a lot lately. And it's rather unprofessional. I might write your ass up. Excuse Don't me, me. has anyone voice. seen Attorney Ragsdale? Not since earlier. What's yeah. going on? You okay? He's been helping me with one of my cases. We're at recess now, but my witness did not show up. My client is looking at 25 years, and without my witness, I'm afraid to go back in that courtroom. Now that doesn't sound like the young attorney that we interviewed and hired. I'm sorry. I just really need that witness. Right. Let me see what you got. Troy, you say no more. I'm out the door. All right, I'll holler at you later, man. All right. It's a felony drug case. Okay. But my client is being railroaded, and his best friend is the witness. He's afraid to testify because that puts a target on him and his family. Now, I offered him witness protection, and originally he agreed. But then he called me later saying he can't go through with it. That's common in these cases. That's why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Do we have any priors? None. What the hell? Undercover and opioids. So is it he that we're after or are we looking for a bigger fish? Moby Dick big. Okay. Make a flip on this boy. Not gonna happen. Okay. Then make his boy think that he's already flipping on him. Make it about his life or his boys. That way he thinks that he's getting the 25. Now, if he does decide to flip, they'll reduce it to five and he'll be out in six months. Moby Dick is his boy. I'm willing to bet my license on that. Trust me, Angela, because I have not been in business for over 15 years because I know how to hang a suit. I also know how to sue the motherfucker that didn't get the suit right. Well, thank you, Mr. Wallace. If you don't mind me asking, what cologne are you wearing? You can call me Vincent. And it's just some oil that my brother's wife bought me. Miss Precious Daniels. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. Thank you. Um, I'm here to see Attorney Vincent Wallace if he's available. If not, I can no, just no, leave no, what please. I have for him. By all means, have a seat. Thank you. Would you like some water or some coffee? Oh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Attorney Wallace? Yes, I have Miss Precious Daniels here to see you. Okay, sure. You can just follow me. Okay. Thank you, Karen. I'm sorry. 
So you got this popping up thing down to a size. Can you mad? Not at all. Let me see. Thank you. So why am I warranted this visit? I felt some kind of way last night when you shut me down. About that. Look, let me finish. That only, I have a hard enough time communicating that only shuts me down. Vincent, I don't want to feel like I'm keeping pieces of my life out. I don't need that unnecessary trauma. I understand. And I wasn't really open-minded about it, and for that, I'm sorry. So you forgive me? No. No? No. I wasn't expecting a no. I know you weren't. So, if you want me to take that Apollo seriously, <laughs> you're gonna have to meet me here tonight. Oh, oh. So how do you know that I like this type of entertainment? Oh, I know more than you think I do. You've done this before. No, I haven't. But the way I see it, I can either join you in your room or I can be a spectator. If this is your way of making it up to me, mm -hmm. you're doing a damn good job, Miss Precious. Good. You wear something sexy. Oh, uh, sorry I invited you. I don't need directions. So are we spending your money too? Absolutely not. <laughs> So I heard everything, and you know I'm going to. Electric Nonsense Lounge. We got $4 well, $3 beers. Hey, don't forget to be bartenders. Yeah, turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. I'm so smooth with it. Girl, you never see Brian come and glue for me. And the shoes is rich. And the slacks it exact. Had a lady's like, damn, who is that? Best believe I got the mouth game to back it up. Mm, couple more drinks. I had you sliding out of something. Baby, I'm the flash to lie. Two of us outside. What you say? Me and you. Go get your girls. Let's ride. I can show you how it's heavy waist elevate. Take you to the top floor. Slit you like a taco. Get you all slapping like nachos. Fall up in your pot holes, girl. Come on out of them gauchos for me, though. Both knees on the couch and pull them down slow. I got no need to be rushing. We have nowhere to go. I got some green to blow. A little antidote. So relax and follow me. I'll show you how it go. You ready for tonight, cause it's on Make your body moan once I get you all alone So smooth with it So smooth with it So smooth with it I'm so smooth with it Huh? Who is Paul? I saw you when I came in I'm gonna stop by and say hello you're not from around here, huh? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, really? Well, what business you got with my woman? Baby, this is Paul. How's it going? Who's me out here? Hey, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Well, what brings you to Dallas, Paul? Well, I'm definitely here for the evening. Just not a little bit. So, we, um, um, I see you have my sister. Jade is on number five. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Oh, Look, I understand the whole thing with your baby daddy and all this stuff like that and him popping up. I get that. I'm a grown man. I can handle it. But what was that shit tonight at the club? I don't know. You were there just like me. I didn't know he was going to be there. Did y'all fuck? What? Did you and Paul fuck? No. Never. Not even kissed. Did he want to? Hell, I don't know. If he did, he probably intensified tonight seeing me at a strip club. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That was your idea, all right? So don't get defensive about it now. I'm not being defensive. I don't even want to have this conversation, to be honest. Then don't. Miss, are you serious? You want to leave a 
because I don't want to argue about something I can't control. Look, not talking to me is the same thing as like lying and hiding, precious. All right, it's the same thing. Look, Vincent, I get it, okay? If I were you, I would probably feel the same way. But <sighs> nothing is going on with me and Paul. Nothing. No, nothing. No kissing, no couch casting, none of that. You know, I don't even get down like that. Y'all got any business dealings together? No, not unless he can meet my price. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I met a renowned photographer from Italy the other day and he actually wants to take me on one of those tours to the festivals out there. He really thinks that my work can be best received overseas. Mm -hmm. I bet. And how well do you know this person? I don't know anything about him except what I saw on Google and he checks out, okay? So you really seriously think about going? I mean, why not? Uh, because you're already on an assignment and getting paid for it, duh. These are the same people that are encouraging me to take this job. I don't know, T. Look, P, do I go around discouraging you from flying from city to city doing what it is that you love? I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just... I didn't mean it like that. All I'm saying is, bitch, this is not like you're going to another city or state. You're going international. Hello. Right. Right. I'm proud of you. I really am. You know what? Thanks, girl. I really needed that encouragement because on the cool, I'm scared to death out here. Well, you can't be scared now because it's time for the butterfly to fly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, what's the whole thing is? Girl, no. Nah, he over here, though. Mm-hmm. I bet he over there. And y'all cursing in the whole damn house. But you know what? Stay away from my side, okay? <laughs> what double? We already did. Like bitch, don't play with me. I can't, I can't. You know I wouldn't do this. <laughs> we ain't done nothing to your side of the room. I mean, we were in your bathroom, though. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tara? How you doing, baby girl? Hey, Vincent. I would say it's nice hearing from you, but seeing as how you just molested my bathroom, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Oh, we kept it G-Ray. We didn't do nothing too nasty. Don't be going. <laughs> <laughs> what am I love you, T. I love you too. But bye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Be careful, T. I will. I love you guys. I love you guys. I really do. But stay out my damn room. <laughs> They say eyes are windows to the soul. And the soul has searched innocent. These eyes have dropped tears that cry for no one but you to touch me. Heat me up, turn the temperature 100 degrees plus. I want to burn in your fever. And fuck the Tylenol, I'll be your pain. I am not delusional. I am not infatuated with lust. See, I've been waiting for you. I stand at the gates of your past life, holding the torch of our right now. Your crown securely in my hand, and you already know. Your only way to heaven is to me. Your goddess, your queen, let them keep their bitch. She wouldn't know what to do with a man if you came with a manual and step by step instructions. She is it me? Your poetry in motion. I walked in causing interruptions. A simple sway in my hips for standing ovation. Booty, juicy, like fruits. And you want the vitamins of my medicine. Come taste.
lips. Mouth watering and savory. Your tongue will fight with your fingers for the last drips of my grave. Goddamn. I love when you clean me. Kill me. Because of electrical currents, I empower you. If given the opportunity, you would tattoo my uterine walls with your hieroglyphics, booby trapping so no one else could enter the treasure between these thighs, these ships capsized. Behold, I am she, Queen Motherfucking B. See you in with me. Don't just fuck with me. You and I together are about to make history. A mystery with our story. Are you ready? Because this shit right here is more pathetic than the coming of the Armageddon. Look into my eyes. They say eyes are the nose to the soul.